I have sort of a dreamy idea of how cubicles got started, and I think it was invented by a guy who had to come up with sort of a dynamic office space or like a new idea for office space for the World's Fair. It was probably some uh, accounts receivable guy or whatever deciding to save money by squeezing four people into a space that should only hold two. And so he invented it for the World's Fair and then somebody figured out that it was like an amazing, cheap um, way of, of um, building offices. So they did and he was just horrified because it was just this one-time thing. On his deathbed, he apologized for unleashing like the single worst evil on the world because he never, he never meant for it to happen. That guy. These are like Legos, you know? Because the ends actually come off so that they can be rearranged. They're, they're totally like Lego pieces. People very commonly refer to it as the cubicle. And in fact, uh, that's a bit of a misnomer. It's really systems furniture. Uh, and we say systems because in its original intent and design, it's really a kit of parts that you can assemble and disassemble and reassemble in any number of configurations. The designer, Bob Probst, actually identified the four-walled cubicle as the worst possible application of the concept. <laughs> 